first things first, I did 4,000 feet of climbing yesterday. Now that I'm in the final two weeks of my training, things are a little higher stakes. With the goals I've set, I've got 35,000 feet of vertical to do this week. If you do the math, that's 5,000 feet a day. You know, I've also got a bit of an ankle injury going on, which brings me to my next point. I'd like to talk about injuries. Injuries, we all get them. The question is, what do you do when you get them? What type of injury is it? When do you stop completely? or when is it something that you can run through? It takes experience in knowing your body when to run through an injury, when to rest it, when to completely shut things down. Earlier this year in January, I had a deep calf soreness that I tried to push through in my training. Turned out it wasn't a good idea. It wasn't something I could just push through. I ran the cold water rumble 52K with that sore calf and ended up having to just take about two weeks off completely from running. Now, a couple of things I've been experiencing in this training round, um, number one, my sore hip, which by the way is fine now. I felt like I could work through it and it turns out I was right on that one. This ankle injury that I sustained on my run up in Flagstaff, I'm not sure yet what to do about that. I was able to get 4,000 feet of vertical in yesterday, as well as finish that run two days ago. It's seemingly like it might be okay, but I was getting some painful twinges at the end of my run last night. Um, ended up, for one reason or another, cutting that run a little bit short, um, just to give it some extra healing time. So let's talk about the rest of this week and what I have ahead. I'm pacing my good friend Michael Carson at the Bighorn 100. He's definitely a contender for the race. Bighorn 100 is a race up in Wyoming, crosses the Bighorn Mountain Range, pacing him through the night. The only negative part of that is the course itself doesn't have a ton of climbing. I think the whole race has less than 20,000. I'll be only running about a third of it with him. And part of that is downhill. So the best I think I can really get while pacing him is gonna be in 5,000 feet of climbing. Um, with a 35,000 foot week on tap and two days of travel, it's gonna be a struggle. I'm really just trying to see what I can do day to day. Sunday is forecast to be 119 degrees here in Phoenix. Doing a big catch up day on Sunday uh, is looking really, really rough at this point. 3.30 right now, I'm gonna head over and do my run for the day, at least one run for the day. I've got about four or five hours worth of plans this evening. Probably won't be done until 10 p.m. An hour and a half I can run right now.
just over an hour, 3.4 miles and 1,500 feet of climb. That's all I got time for right now. And the best part about living in Phoenix in the summer has got to be the pool. I just got an hour's worth of editing done and I'm gonna head home and get in 2,500 feet of climbing because I need 4,000 for the day. Five point two miles, twenty five hundred feet of climb, one hour, forty nine minutes. Check out this cool trick. It's like a blue lantern. It's so awesome. About to crush a salad right here. Really stoked on today. I feel like there was no way I was gonna get in the climbing I needed to. 110 in the morning, but I got four thousand feet of climb in. Feels damn good.